Greetings and welcome to Bannerlord. Mountain Blade. Bannerlord, I should say. The Old World. So, this is a, a new series that we're going to be doing here, as well as a Warband whenever I get a chance to upload that. Hopefully I can do that today. But, like I said, new series. Uh, this is based on the uh, Warhammer Fantasy World, and... I played a little bit of it before, but these just got updated. This and the Game of Thrones Realm mod, the Realm of Thrones, updated at the same time. And I was debating whether or not to uh, play either one, so I just kind of flipped a coin. We're doing a CK3 Game of Thrones series, so I figured, let's not overwhelm with Game of Thrones, right? Spread it out, you know, variety's sake. We'll do the Realm of Thrones next series. But, I have an idea for this, and I don't know much. There was just, a, like I said, a big update. Added a whole new faction and more things and that I don't even know about. I just know they added Wood Elves. But let's just jump right in here. Oh, that's a pretty good uh, picture there, I do say. Now, it might take a little bit. Just a heads up if you guys are curious. You can get the mod on uh, Steam and then everything else that requires it all on Steam. On the Steam Workshop there. But as a heads up. When it loads, it does take a while to load. The first time around, anyway, especially. So, because it's just a big mod, it's going to take like 45 minutes, maybe. It could be faster, it could be longer. It took about 40 minutes for me. Usually, it's in my past experience, once it loads the first time, then it should be faster the next but yeah, as you can see, it's compiling shaders. It's going to take a while, so... I'll just see you when uh, we're in the character creation, I suppose. There we go. So, let's see here. So, I have an idea. But first, let me just take a look. We're going to take a look. This is the first episode, so we'll just do a quick exploration here. It's been a long time since Bannerlord, and in case anyone doesn't know anything about the stuff. So here are the uh, couple of uh, races, factions, all that. Uh, Musulon. And I don't know much about Warhammer Fantasy. I've done a little bit of research. And by that, I mean I look into the lore and bit. There's some interesting things there. I plan on actually getting some books and reading that at some point. But yeah. But yeah, Musulon. The accursed state nestled within the heart of Bretonia casts a dark and ominous shadow over the land. Once a proud dukedom. It now stands as the grim testament to the corruption that lingers in the shadows. Ruled by the serpent of Musulon, the realm of swamps and thickets contrasts against the vibrant setting of noble Bretonia. Yet even more tragic and unsettling are its mutated peasantry, ruled not by noble knights, but the twisted undead, whose black knights evoke a chilling blend of traditional Bretonian martial prowess and unholy power. And then we have... Aonar. These two, are, I think, are the new factions added. Between Nordland and the Wasteland lies the force of Lorlon. Lorlorn and its inhabitants, the proud Aonir. They refused to flee the old world with the rest of their kin, and instead stood against and defeated the dwarvish advance on their forest. The Aonir live in a caste society split between the city and forest kin, and maintain their security through careful diplomacy, both with their neighbors and factions as far as broad as the Asr and the Duruki. Their governance works through layers of councils to promote a level democracy. When the time for battle comes, Aonir calls on everything from the darkest magic to the pure spirits of the forest to ensure the safety of their home. The Azrai are the elvish inhabitants of Athalorn. They are suspicious, isolationists, and savage kin who live their lives surrounded by the nature of Athalorn. Their magical forest home is as dangerous as it is beautiful and its unforgiving nature has sharpened the skills of its people to a razor's edge. The Azurai live under the teachings of Isha and Kurnos as hunters and warriors, defending the weave and natural world. But darker voices ever seek to tempt them to slaughter and mayhem. And then here we go. These were the first four originals, just so you guys know of factions, besides the ones just added in this update. The Vampire Counts. The vampire counts are fiends without equal. They seek to topple the civilizations of the living and supplant them with an undead empire. Each vampire is a unique and majestic figure with his own personality, drive, it, drive and ambition. 
In contrast, their minions are mindlessly obedient. Rank after rank of ragged and dirt encrusted cadavers, forced back to life by their master's necromantic power. Alright, so that was my first original guess of what we can do, but let me t I'll tell you what our plan is for the series. <laughs> the Kingdom of Bretonia is a land renowned for powerful knights and their strong sense of chivalry. Guided by the Fey Enchantress and the Damsels of the Lady, the peasants toil while their noble lords protect them from the many dangers threatening their survival. In times of war, the whole kingdom can join together, led in a crusade against their enemies by King Luan Leoncor, against which no foe has known victory. Alright. So typical, you know, medieval, feudalistic. And then the Empire of Man. Not to be confused with Warhammer 40k, but, you know. <clears throat> The Empire of Man, the sprawling nation of humans dominating the old world, faces a daily struggle for survival. Guided by their emperor, Karl Franz, its army stand as a testament to unwavering discipline and unmatched martial skills. In a world teeming with brutal savages and bloodthirsty monsters, the Empire endures thanks to the renowned discipline of its armies. Honed through rigorous trainings and fortified by their unyielding faith in Sigmar. A beacon of human resilience, the Empire's soldiers exemplify the indomitable spirit of man that prevails amidst its list of foes. Yeah, so there's our culture here. It doesn't tell us what their specialty is until the end, so unfortunately we can't really see it. But for our series here, we're going to be an Empire of, Joy an Empire of Man... And then make our way to become a vampire. Because you can become a vampire in this game without starting as one. And honestly, I think that's really cool. I was debating between uh, Musulon and the Empire of Man. But I think the Empire of Man is a better better story I think I can make. Musulon is just kind of simple, right? Just an undead necromancer kind of thing. They're already, you know, touched by the forces of darkness. Becoming a vampire is pretty simple and... Well, not simple, but pretty expected, I'd say. So, let's do an Empire of Man, you know? So, we're going to choose them there. Get to character creation. Ah, there we go. Aren't we a handsome fellow? No. So, let's actually go through here. Belly girth. Uh, I haven't done any character creation for Bannerlord in so long. I forgot what it was even like. Thick thighs. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go for that. We can have a... You know what? Before we do anything, we gotta take a look. Yeah, there we go. Uh, sure, why not, right? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what any of this particularly means. Uh, calf size, torso, everything else is just like that. Voice pitch. Let's be slightly taller than normal. Not like a giant size, but let's be slightly. Let's be above average height there. And then we can have a little bit of more weight since we're bigger. Uh, no. Yeah. I think that's pretty decent there. You know what? The I don't know if it actually matters or anything, but I feel like why not, right? We can be incredibly pale. No, uh, I don't want to be like that's shiny, shiny. What, right? Uh, let's go. Actually, go for a human skin color here. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of skin types here. I guess. I guess that one. Oh man, there's so much to go through here. Alright. You're looking kind of old there, so I kind of want to make you younger. <laughs> Cheekbones, I'll be honest. This might just be like the Mountain Blade Warband character creation where it's just kind of random. I never mess with the faces, I only just. Check with the hair. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's see. Eyebrow type. Sure. Uh. There we go. What good? Could have black eyes? Nah. We can go with gray eyes there. Yeah, I think that's good. The nose, eh. Nose seems, you know, like a like a nose. Teeth type. Uh. That's just kind of scary. Right, well, let's go with the first one, I suppose. All right, now we can actually get into things. So hair, hair, hair. Uh. How are we feeling on hair? Nah. Messy ponytail. Uh, a couple pigtails. There's not much hair options, I'd say. Hmm. Uh, normal ponytail. I mean, I think we could probably change our hair whenever we want. You want black hair? Blonde? Red? Alright, I think we want to do black hair, so let's just take a look what we got. Uh... Yeah, we'll stick with this, and then we'll just see how it goes. It's more brown than black. There we go. That's... That's black, I guess. Hmm. Uh... Do we want any facial hair? Oh, what the hell? Uh... No facial hair, I guess, for us. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, maybe just... Okay, it just took a while to load. I was wondering. You know what? That's actually not that bad. Huh? Oh, yeah. That just makes us look e <laughs> like an evil advisor. The Grand Vizier. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I actually rather like this one. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, markings. Okay, do we want any markings? A couple scars. Hmm. Face paint, more scars. A little curve scar there. Like I said, I think we can probably get change our what our face looks like anyway, but I actually rather like that. But I think this is more for when we achieve our goal and become a vampire, which does take quite a while, just as a heads up. Unless things change, that's our immediate goal. But let me know if you guys want us to stick with like these markings or get them later. Because either way, either, I think it. You know what? Yeah. As a human, we got that. And when we turn vampire-y, we got this. I wonder. Obviously, that's like... Um, I'm not seeing a difference in the colors. I'm assuming it's... No, I don't know what that's all about. But there we go. All right, let's get back to it. All right, choose our family's background. So here we go. Two of everything. I think our play style is going to be a typical 
cavalry man. And I want to use a pole arm. But I also want to create, first things first, as an aside, whenever we do these series, I like blacksmithing. I don't know if they've changed anything before, but it's going to be a thing. So we need writing. So let's just see what this gives us. Uh, your parents loyally served Graf Hopt Anderson. While not major nobility, they nonetheless held sway within the courts of the Elector Count and thus ensured your childhood was one of comfort. Alright, one of... A couple things there. And writing. That seems to be a leadership. Alright. Decent. Well, well, Imperial Sergeant. Father served with only distinction. There is more... Two handed. This is more, I'd say, of uh, infantrymen. Thieves. One handed. Uh, commoners. Does give us smithing. Uh, scouting. Knowledge of how to scan the wilderness for life. Engineering. Could be good. Merchants. Hmm. I'm not sure. I guess we can go for the commerce, see if we can do that. We can always go back and just check and see things. We enlisted in the militia. Beastmen and bandits are rife within the Empire, and your home was in need of strong men. Alright, I kind of want to get something here with riding. It does give us some pole arm. Uh, merchant's assistants, uh, blacksmith apprentice. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let's go for imperial nobility and probably the blacksmith apprentice. I know there's magic in this mod as well. Spellcraft, gunpowder, and faith. I'm pretty sure, depending on what kind of vampire we do end up, we lose access to magic or something. But we'll focus on magic another time I think maybe we'll learn some I kind of want to do an undead playthrough as well like a necromancer but we'll see imperial cultist uh spend most of your time in the temple yeah there we go we get one in the faith medicine stewardship engineering student one in the gunpowder then we get some in the engineering. Engineering would actually be pretty useful. I'm not the biggest fan of using guns in these game, kind of games, but maybe this would be really good. Yeah, I think engineering student. Choose our profession. A free company militiaman. Mercenary career. Imperial Magister career. Interesting. Priest career. Witch Hunter career. I don't even know what these careers are. Oh, we don't have anything with the smithing now. Alright. Well, what if, say... Commoners... Engineering student. We don't even get any writing with uh, this. I'm, I think we need the mercenary career. I, I don't even know about these careers, though. I'm assuming we could change them. Gain access to prayers, but cannot learn spells. Oh man, if I didn't want to risk trying to lose what we looked like and everything, I'd go back and see what the other stuff is like. Maybe we'll do that in a sec. I have an idea. Alright. So there's us. Commoners give us smithing. I'm actually... Because if I remember, and it's been a while, the more we get in here, the more we can upgrade the skill, right? 
the more we po put points in here. So if we have these already unlocked, we don't need to waste points upgrading and unlocking the skill bar. So actually having writing and pull arms would be pretty good. Engineering student. Uh... Fighting and drinking, what more could you, one need in life? Yeah, you know what? Let's go for that. Uh, difficulty, player received damage. Rebooter, Warrior, Bannerlord, Custom. I don't know how difficult Bannerlord is anymore. I'm assuming we'll be able to change the game difficulty, so we'll... Uh, combat AI. Reduce to 25. Realistic. Uh, all right. You know what? We'll just we'll just go with that and see what happens. Unfortunately, this mod does take out marriage and like death and battles and everything, but I'm sure we can come up with a good story here. All right, so now we can create our sigil here, and I actually have an idea on what I want. Here we go. What do you think? The red hand? Or... I don't know, we can't do a... Yeah, or we can do the white hand. That's actually a pretty good... I actually like that. The white hand. Uh... Having it on. Uh. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, select your family name. Our family name shall be. No, 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 no. That one. That one, we always use that, right? Let's think. Of, let's try to think of something else. All right. Well, I bit the bullet. And we're just gonna call ourselves Serade. Think more. No, no, no. Our name is Gothic. Gothic Serade. I know. Try edgelordy. Huh? Try hard edgelordy, huh? Uh, Empire man, twenty percent less garrison troop wage. Being in an army brings twenty-five percent more influence. Okay. That's actually not bad. And if we went and changed everything, like, I'm assuming it would tell us. Like, I don't want to ch check for the uh, elf stuff in case it does change our appearance. But I remember Musalon is, like, more renowned in battle slightly. And Batanian. I don't know. But a mercenary career. All right. We're just going to bite the bullet there. And continue on. Let's actually do a little bit of something here, right? I know this is like episode zero character creation, so. Alright, here we go. Uh, return the game. Uh, b -b -b let's just check inventory. What do we got? We got a falchion and a oh, we got a pistol. So I guess that's something. We don't have a horse, so I guess that's something we should do. Do we have any money? All right, we got a thousand. Uh, there's thirty people there. Let's not. Let's check out what Altdorf has here. We gained a level. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's try to relearn how to play Bannerlord. Uh, go to the Tavern District. I'm assuming that's a qu your quests. Uh, let's check out Trade. 
by a horse riding 20 well first things first we definitely need to start earning uh, pole arm proficiency and horse riding proficiency so let's do you guys see a pole arm one handed one handed uh, two handed not a pole the class is a pole arm so I'm assuming yeah it is a pole arm how much is it? All right, we're gonna buy that. Oh, wait, do I? Oh, okay. We need to have those in there. Uh, can't use with shields. Can't be used on mountains. Oh. As much as I want to, I'd rather start getting our riding skill up. No saddle. Do you guys sell saddles? Uh, some musket balls. That's a lot of money. You know, if I sold this and sold the musket ball. Hmm. Bright wizard cape magic item. What's the what's the effect here? Fire resistance, huh? Interesting. Uh, all right, rugged harness. What? I don't know what the different harnesses do. Civilian. Okay, so it's like armor. Uh, horse armor ten. And I guess until we find a pole arm, I guess we'll stick with this. That's two handed. One handed. Yeah. Alright, well. Yeah. Well, I guess at least we got a horse. Can we use. Requires gunpowder 30, which we can't use. I wonder if it's just better to sell this. to sell it now all right first off we're just gonna buy that stuff let's enter the smithy because I want to take a look at some stuff here because this was my forte when I really liked enjoying uh the old world what the oh I don't know what template that is but lances Scythe, obviously we could have a scythe, but not my go-to. Great swords, two-handed axes, two-handed pole arms. Alright. Spearhead, spearhead. Let's see if we can make our dream pole arms to work for. Because I want to make more of a glaive. Alright. Vulgar head. Spearhead. Thrust and pierce damage. I mean, that's really cool. Alright, that's a little too fancy. I do like, uh... Wow. Does not do any for being something like that. I like my swing damage, please. Uh... I wonder if it's in the normal ones. It pr probably is. Empire head. Empire halberd head. The thrust. Okay, why is the thrust so much more? I get it. But I want a uh, glaive. Uh, here we go. What, what's this one? Wild Rider Spearhead? I'm not sure why it's missing this. Probably gotta add something. Swing Blunt. Alright, well keep in mind for this one here. But let's check out normal. 
Uh, great axes. Two-handed pole arms. Exceptional eastern glaive. I don't know what's good damage and what, or not, since I haven't played this in years. So if anyone actually knows, let me know. Alright, the war razor head. 136 versus and 45. Obviously we do a little fixing here. We add more things. We can add change the height. Eh, let me just get a better view. Uh, all right. Make it shorter so it's more in line. It doesn't change much when if you do that. It gives more handling. So that's actually pretty cool. And this one is literally just swing damage. Interesting. Not usable with one hand. Swing attacks can dismount. All right. Should have looked at the other one. We'll take a look at that again. Uh, hewing spear, sword staff, knightly lance. All right. So what was it? 134 basically for this, and then the war razor was 45, 136. Uh. Staffs, rapiers, pole arms. 83 and 131. If we lowered this. And, but the other one has better handling, unless. Alright, so. Um, no, I guess we're missing an asset there. Which is kind of a shame. Because this is a really cool looking one. That'd be really interesting to play with. If anyone knows what asset I'm missing or... F f I don't know. But yeah, let me know on that, please. Need to get our smithing up. So, that's something we gotta do. We leveled up. We have one focus point. First thing, we should probably put it in pole arms if we want to use any. Or do we want to put it in riding? Uh, hmm. Charm, leadership. Maybe we should have started with the uh, noble background, because I don't think we'll be using gunpowder. So this is kind of a waste on that. The engineering is pretty good, actually. All right, so let's. You can use more efficient. I think smithing is relatively easy to uh, learn. We just gotta break things down when we get stuff instead of mostly sealing it, I suppose. So let's throw something in the pole arms here. We'll probably go for this cavalry one whenever we get that. And issue rival gang moving in at Altdorf. And go to the tavern but you know what we're gonna end this here because I've asked a couple questions here and I'd love for you guys to uh, help me with this and like I said epi episode zero character creation so without any further ado let me know your guys thoughts on this new uh, series and yeah it's been a long time coming I kept saying we wanted to do it now a perfect time I guess since it was just updated but yeah check everything else out on the channel and leave a like if you like, leave a dislike if you dislike, but tell me why, and I shall see you all later.